Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Aurum Mishra and today in this video we are going to discuss about this basic pneumatic trainer kit. Its order code is 2223620.3.29M. So in this video we are going to discuss about its working and its components. So starting with the components, okay, so there are two, uh, two portions, the front portion and there is also back portion. With all the components, I will firstly discuss you with the components of the first portion and then I will discuss with the components of the second portion. Okay, so starting with this, uh, this is the connecting uh, work being given, okay, so to which all the pipes have been connected with other, other uh, different walls, okay. This is the switch for increasing and decreasing or releasing the pressure, or air pressure. Okay, this is the PLC input output panel, okay, so in which uh, power LED has been given, switch. 3 ports for 24 volt supply, 3 common ports and this is the main supply connected, 4 toggle switches have been given for uh, releasing and uh, just contracting of the air pressure in this air cylinder, then these are push switches, 4 push switches have been given, you can take in use, these are 2 displays, DC voltage, voltage display and DC MP display, that means current display, then 2 ports for the ground okay, and our supply. Then 3 relays has been given with a 24 volt supply, all have it having the supply uh, port and the ground port. Then the NC port, common port and NO port have been given across 3 relays. And at last there is a LED display in which you can also see the air pressure uh, uh, in the uh, LED blinking way. Okay, at last. Uh, then it is, uh, this is the complete PLC input output panel. Now uh, this is the double solenoid wall through which the connections have been made to the air cylinders ok this air cylinder uh, this pump will uh, contract means it will come out and then come uh, back to its cylinder position in, in, inwards uh, when we increase or decrease the pressure then this is the double pilot wall you can take in use and at last this is the 3 by 2 wave roller lever wall ok so this is the complete uh, components of the front side of this basic uh, pneumatic trainer kit. I will show you the other components uh, on the other side of the basic pneumatic trainer kit. So now this is the another part of uh, the basic pneumatic trainer kit. So in this, uh, the components being given. So since on the other side we have uh, seen the double solenoid wall, and this is for the sing this is the single solenoid wall. In which you can uh, you can connect the pipes over here and connect for the with the air cylinder. Okay, so you can disconnect them and change at the position for as uh, convenient and comfortable you are. Okay, these have been nuts have been already given. You can change in these all uh, uh, holes. You can change the uh, position of these components in this kit. And then this is this works as a switch. Okay. Uh, for uh, releasing the pressure, air pressure. These again are the switches for the uh, releasing of the air pressures and two minor switches have been given. Okay, it works at the wall. The switch uh, allows the pressure to move to the air cylinder. Okay, you can uh, release and and do like this and uh, you can release the pressure. At last, uh, this is the single pilot wall. We have uh, seen the double pilot wall on the other side and this is again the three, three by two way uh, roller lever uh, wall, okay. You can, uh, and then I'll, uh, after this, these are the components of the other, other side, okay. Now I'll uh, show you the working of this basic pneumatic trainer kit, okay. So let's start with the connections and working of this basic pneumatic trainer kit. So now this is the basic uh, pneumatic trainer kit front part in which there is a PLC uh, input output panel. So in this we have to firstly connect all the three pipes from this wall to this part of the double solenoid wall, okay, and these two connections with the cylinder part. Always remember this is uh, the lock system is being already given in this. If you insert this uh, pipe, don't just uh, snatch it out just because you have to just first unlock this and then you have to take it out, okay. If you take it out directly. It will not be, it will not be taken out. Okay, so you can see these all three connections have been already made with the pipe. Okay, this connection with the double solenoid wall and these two connections with the air cylinder. Connect with the main supply. Okay, 
and just sense it out. Okay, so right now it's showing zero 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 zero. Little bit uh, a difference is coming because of the uh, minute of the air particles in these files. Okay, now we will uh, connect it with the air compressor. So this is the air compressor. Okay, so we will uh, gonna uh, get the air pressure from this compressor. So this one. Okay, so how to do the connections? Okay, so I am uh, letting you know. So now you have to connect. Uh, you have to take a pipe and connect this first valve, down downside valve. You have to connect. You have to just insert it and it will get locked. If you have to remove, just press this lock and then take out. If you will take it, if you uh, if you try to uh, remove like this, it will not get removed. So just press the lock and then take it out. So you have to connect uh, from this first wall. Okay. This uh, other side with this air compressor, this part. Okay, so now it's the connections have been completed. Now I'll switch it on and make you show the air pressure. And after that, you will you will see that this uh, pump will uh, just move out and in on increasing and decreasing the air pressure in this PLC input output panel. Before that, we have to uh, do the connections. Of this PLC input output panel. So just take out the patch code and I'll make you sh uh, show that how to connect this PLC input output panel circuits. So now take these two patch codes and connect uh, from uh, you can take any of the toggle switch, connect. Let's suppose I am taking the T1 switch, okay. Connect this with this neutral part, okay. Sorry, uh, this 24 volt, this neutral part, and this common port with this neutral part. Okay, so 24 volt with this neutral part, and common port with this neutral part. So these two connections you should make, and after that, you have to uh, check for any toggle switches. Okay, this is the low side and high side. Supposedly, I am taking the T1 switch, so connect this with this. Uh, port, the red port, okay, and let's suppose T2 switch with this red port. So, all the connections have been made properly. Now, I'll make you uh, see that how the air pressure works in it. So, firstly, connect all the power supplies of uh, like I have done of the GLC input output panel, and for now, I have to connect this. Compressors, power supply. Okay. Now I am making the power supply of compressor getting switched on. Okay. Always remember this switch should be in, in this direction, otherwise the pressure will not be created in this pneumatic uh, connected. So let's connect. So you can hear the sound of uh, the power compressor. Okay. Uh, the air pressure is this. So this is it off, and then we will uh, supply the air pressure in the pneumatic pneumatic. So this much air supply is sufficient. Okay, now we will switch this compressor on. Okay, so you can see this uh, is found out. And it will depend on the switches. Okay, so uh, since it's slow, now on uh, changing this toggle switches, it will change it in and out. If both will be low, it will just move out of the air cylinder, and if both will be high, it will just come back to its original position. Okay, so always remember. So it will indicate with the pressure. Okay. So this is the complete demonstration of this basic pneumatic trainer gate. So this is the complete demonstration from my side about this product. If you have any query, 
you can visit at the Star Global website for the information related to this product. You can refer to the manual and information related to other products given in the links given in the description. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, just like, share, subscribe to our channel.